Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you haven't, be sure to like and subscribe to the page. And today we're going to be diving into Deceased, The Unkillables, issue number two, coming out of DC Comics. If you haven't, be sure to check out the link for issue number one so you're all caught up. And without further ado, let's dive in. So opening up, we're in Bloodhaven, picking up with Jim Gordon, Jason Todd, and Cassandra Kane, And they're pretty much trying to figure out what they're going to do. They heard a broadcast over the radio from Lois Lane saying that any survivors that are left on Earth are leaving. And that there's two pickup locations, like we saw in the original Deceased Run, which was the island of Themyscira and Poison Ivy's jungle in Gotham City. But as their conversation continues on, on, Jim Gordon comes to a realization they're not going to be able to take all these orphans all the way to another city with zombies and things of that nature out in the world and at this point they're they're assuming that you know we're just not going to tell the kids that their heroes are leaving them behind little do they know most of the heroes have been wiped out or they're they're trying to coordinate some kind of countermeasure and then we pick up on vandal savage's little hideaway waiting out the apocalypse and we see mirror master and shiva having a conversation about how he found her daughter and so mirror master brings her to cassandra kane and they have a conversation that leads to a full-out just brawl because Cassandra doesn't want to leave. She doesn't want to leave all these kids and all these people behind. And she pretty much wants to try to make her. And then Jason Todd tries getting in the mix. And he just gets his ass laid out. And then that's when she decides, you know, this is... I tried. Like, you're going to stay. You're going to stay. And then that's where she disappears into the mirror. Upon her return to Vandal Savage's little hideaway, Savage is just... He's irritated, like, that she use mirror master to do that like mirror master is their getaway and if something happened to mirror master they would pretty much be screwed you know and you have all these villains together so obviously tensions are high everybody wants to beat the crap out of everybody else and then savage takes deathstroke off to the side and is like wants to have a conversation with him so they go to what seems to be his office and opening up you see a laboratory and as we enter we see Grundy what seems to be operating on Creeper and Randall Savage pushes Deathstroke in telling Grundy to take him and Grundy just way lays Deathstroke in the face. I mean it seems to be that he wants to experiment on those who have the ability to heal from the anti-life equation but before it's able to get any further we see rose come in and shove a sword straight through randall savage and as rose starts to pick up deathstroke to get out of there she says oh my god run because remember rose can see the future and so savage says what what is it and she says i wouldn't want to ruin the surprise and this is where we see Wonder Woman just blast through the wall. Savage says, oh shit, Wonder Woman's a zombie. And then Wonder Woman just rips Randall Savage in half. Grundy attempts to make some kind of attack and this is when all hell breaks loose. And so to make their escape, Mirror Master opens up a mirror to the orphanage again. As Mirror Master returns for Leonard Snart, or Captain Cold, he walks around inside and then sees Wonder Woman, says, "Oh crap, and then Snart comes up from behind him and just bites him in the neck. Back at the orphanage, realizing that the others aren't coming back, there, it, there's a real standoff here because you, you have these super villains that Jim Gordon and all these people have fought against for years. And now they're in a predicament where they, they have to work together. They have to get along. And then our villains start proposing that we use the children as essentially a small army because in this time, in this age, there's no more innocence. There's no more people being spared from having to do crazy things. And all those zombies that were barricaded on one of the floors everybody decides you know the the best thing to do besides jim gordon everybody decides the best thing to do is to take care of all these zombies and jason todd just tells jim gordon like you just need to walk away there's work to do and then they lay waste to the entire room of zombies and then we see a correlation a, a community starting to build between these villains and these orphans they're teaching him different ways to how to to kill the undead and things of that nature how to fight superhumans you know these guys have all been fighting superhumans pretty much their entire villain career we see jason and rose start to have some kind of romance blossom again out of all of this and when things were seeming at their best when things seemed like they were going really well 
obviously that can't stay that way forever especially in a post-apocalyptic zombie apocalypse and this is where we see zombie mirror master pop out from a mirror and straight attacks bane from the back and then mirror master is just pulling in kids left and right deadshot's trying to stop him as jim gordon's helping but people are just getting annihilated as they try to form a perimeter around the children, they found out that Bane had turned and ran right through Cassandra Kane, and he was running outside. And Jim Gordon goes to see why, and we see Bane tear open the barrier wall, and a slew of undead zombies come pouring in. And that will be the end of this issue. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know in the comments. I am absolutely loving DC Unkillables. It's a great continuation of DCs. I love that they're continuing on with this and keeping this line going alive. So yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments and until the next video.